and gals. It's five o'clock on Friday, October 19th. We are set up in here overlooking the food plot that, uh, that we planted earlier this spring. I've been here about a half hour. I've already seen four deer. We bumped two right at the field edge when we were coming in and I just had two more run across the field from my right to left in front of me. And it, it was like something pushed them out of there because we have the wind in our face for where those deer were coming, where those deer were going. So it wasn't us, it had to have been something else. Maybe there's a buck down in there, I'm not, I'm not sure. But we're in here tonight, we're gillied up got the makeshift around us and we got high hopes for this evening so clearly the deer are on their feet that's the fourth four deer we've seen already so we got the widow in our hand tonight the recurve trying to check number two off the list if you remember we were in the stand I don't know if you can see it or not on the pano but on the uh, on the other side of this boot plot week ago and we had a deer walk into this blind so it's Mike Fennell Armstrong County 2D Grim and Grin Outdoors stay tuned That was a terrible shot. I don't know if I hit 
my sleeve or what but that was a god awful shot and that deer's laying dead right freaking there man she didn't go 30 yards I hit her way back but I could see the blood pouring out as soon as I hit her she went 15 yards into the woods and fell over That was a terrible, terrible, terrible shot. But that deer is laying dead right there. I watched her fall over. I'm gonna walk up there and see if I need to put another one in her. Oh, number two! Check! Oh, I'm shaking like a freaking leaf, man. Wow, was that intense or what? Stay tuned. get it in the lane she didn't go 10 yards into the woods and fell over oh man <laughs> yes. two out of three Whew, dude I'm I'm fired up that was so intense <laughs> dude. all right tell me you can hear it. It's like walking on corn flames right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here, and I'm facing that way. And I heard something over here, and I turn, and all I see is white. And I'm like, oh, jeez. Where'd you come from? They had to have come right down the, right down the trail. Okay. They, 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 how many were there? Three. It looked like a mom and two little ones. And they're right on the corner. And she's... Yeah. Try, you know, if I didn't have that pine stuff there... What you need. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. over. Yeah. And she walks down, and all I could see was the one, and then I'm like, oh, okay, there's more. Up here in the food plot, about 20, 22 yard shot. I know the deer's down. I, I, could see, I watched her fall. Um, wasn't a good shot by any means, but we have a blood trail, so I must have been into something good. We're gonna go up here and we are gonna get our hands on this one and enjoy it. So come along with us, check this one out. Somebody here. Did you shoot through her? No, but it was sticking out both sides. The air's still in. She's a, she's a big dog. Nice yeah, adult dog. Big dog. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That, that's... Something you've been trying to do for a long I've been time. Something you've trying to do for a long time. You're right. So you got one with a compound, one with a recurve now. So all you need is a longbow. On to number three. We're going to get this one uh, taken care of. Drag her down here to the plot and we'll, uh, we'll get a little better post on interview for you guys.
one of the fun fun parts of a, of a hunt, huh? Filling the tag. October 19th, and I punched tag number two and checked off number two of the goal this year, and that's to go three with three. Uh, shot the first one with my Matthews, uh, week one, a little bit of a dry spell, got in here, and uh, field number two, week number three. So we're moving on to the long bow tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we can bust another doe, and I mean, hey, who knows, we might stick something with horns, but what an awesome hunt tonight. Saw seven deer. Um, the stand that we hung over this food plot in particular is for a north wind, and we were getting a lot of south winds, so uh, <clears throat> Cody and I come in uh, probably a little over a week ago now and built that ground blind that we were in tonight for a south wind. Tonight we had a south, south southwest wind, and uh, it worked to perfection. We had three does come up the trail to us from behind us. It was some intense hunting there for a little bit. I feel like I didn't move a muscle for probably the better part of 15 minutes, which in all honesty felt like the better part of an hour. It was one of the most intense hunts I think I've had to recent date, but she, uh, she stepped into a shooting lane at about 22 yards, and uh, the old widow that belongs to dad who's behind the camera right now, uh, finally did its job for me and I I couldn't be happier it was an awesome hunt dad got to be here with me uh, shot wasn't the greatest but I watched her fall over so in the end tag number two punched and we are gripping and grinning tonight so uh, we're gonna get out of here we're gonna get her out of here it's gonna be a, uh, a long drag up over that hill but uh, we're gonna go burn up the phone lines what do you think dad Oh, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. Thanks for being with us.